everybody, this is Leslie from Black Dog Vintage. And in today's video, we're going to continue to go through the box that I went through in this last video. And um, I still have some necklaces and that whole portion to go through. And I also went to the flea market this morning. And oh my gosh, I got so much good stuff and I cannot wait to show you. So definitely, if you like my content, if you like the things that I bring to you, please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. It is free to subscribe. You get to see lots of this cute little face right down here. And it is, um, it would just mean the world to me. My goal is to hit 2000 subscribers. Um, I'm a little bit over 1700 right now. Uh, by the end of May. So uh, it is at the beginning of April right now. So I'm not sure if I can do it. Can we get to, uh, can we get just over, um, I, I don't know, can we get almost 300 subscribers in the next two months? I don't know. Can we? Let's manifest it. Let's see. Um, so if you can, share my videos, uh, help me out, see if I can reach my goal. That is my, uh, it's my stretch goal, but let's see if we can do it. So please, if you uh, like my content, if you like what I bring to you, please think about subscribing to my channel. It would just mean the world to me. But um, let me bring to you the, uh, the rest of the box that I got from the auction and this incredible haul that I got at the flea market. It will include a Juliana necklace, it will also include a har brooch, Ben Moon brooch, and some great, really cool vintage pieces, including a 800 silver brooch with a beautiful large opal and um, a huge pot metal butterfly with incredible rhinestones. You will just not believe some of the pieces that I got today. I can't believe the pieces I got today. Uh, and I can't wait to show you. So um, let's finish up the haul from yesterday and then I'll show you the haul from today. So don't forget, subscribe and let's get to the haul. Thanks. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna go through the, the jewelry, the rest of the necklaces that I got in the big, huge bulk you know, several pound lot of jewelry that I got from the auction house first. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the first necklace that I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over is this one. Um, this is so long, I can't even measure it. It is literally probably longer than me. I'm like 61 inches tall and it's, I think even doubled even doubled, it might be taller than me. Um, it's, or at least close, at least close as tall as me. It's huge. And these are all um, a, <coughs> excuse me, a ceramic bead. And it's really, really cool. This is a cool necklace. Um, and, you know, I think I might do this in maybe a Wednesday night um, live, you know, where it's a $10 and under auction it's just a really cool a unique necklace and uh, i think i might save this one for one of the auctions so uh i'm gonna set that over there um the next one is this isn't this black and white one just fabulous i think this is fabulous now i did go ahead go through all of these and um make sure that they weren't tangled just for time um, because I want to go through all of these other pieces that I got at the flea market as well. Um, and uh, this is, this necklace, it's just, it is plastic beads. It's just big, huge, chunky, black and white plastic beads. It is a 20 inch length and it's a um, spring ring clasp. It's fabulous, and uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna say um, I'm gonna say twelve dollars on that. That's just it's a great necklace. It's just it's fabulous. Um, here I've got this is this is different. Also, this is some kind of quartz 
right here. I didn't test the, the beads here. And then this is another kind of like agate or something. It's kind of an interesting piece. Um, it's got a really cool, um, very cool toggle clasp. And then a center bead. These are a silver plate or some kind of silver um, tone. Um, but it's just a really interesting necklace. It's also a bit on the longer side, um, which is cool. Um, I like longer necklaces. Um, we're looking at 20 inches on this one as well. Um, just a cool necklace, neat colors, just almost like fall colors, but still really kind of a fun necklace. I'm gonna say, um, you know, we've got some nicer stones on this. I'm gonna say, um, we'll say $12 on this one. I almost think it's homemade, but we'll say 12 on that. It's got nicer stones. Same with this. This is all glass stones, and it's like a butterfly kind of necklace. It's got this little ceramic butterfly. These are all glass stones. Pretty um, crystals on here. There we've got, this is a stone butterfly. That's a glass butterfly, pressed glass butterfly. It's just a really cute little necklace. Um, also, it could be handmade. Um, reason I think so is because it's got this little, um, you know, where the bead, uh, or where the bead alon string or like the bead wire kind of tucks in. It's a little loose there. But we've got like dragonflies on there too. It's super, super cute. Um, this one here is, um, uh, it is uh, 18 inches long, and um, I'm going to say for this necklace, uh, we're going to say $10 on that necklace. It's just a really nice necklace. Angel. Um, this is an interesting piece. It is a really wild fused glass, very um, artistic fused glass necklace. Now, I used to do this kind of glass art. Um, this takes a lot of control and you gotta know like your temperatures and all of that. And it's all lightly fused. Um, just really, really an interesting, interesting piece. And the way they've got this, um, you know, all put together, it's just really interesting. It's dichroic glass, um, covered in a clear glass and then covered with these, you know, glass strings. And, you know, they would have had to put this together in different layers. So they would have probably put the clear and the strings together first and then covered or done all of this together in layers and steps because otherwise it would have just all been like a big blob. So super cool. This actually would have taken a lot of time, a lot of work to do really neat and I don't know that I like it on this orange um this orange piece of leather and there is some issues with the leather where that's coming the color is coming off but you could put it on whatever you wanted um I'm gonna say uh you know honestly I think I'm gonna put this in a live because it's just very artistic very very cool piece and uh, I think it deserves a live um, here is another cool piece. Um, these are interesting um, uh, pieces. These are actually plastic. Um, I'm going to say it's long. It has a huge long extender. Um, I'm going to say just $5 on that necklace. Um, this is a neat little piece right here. Uh, this is ceramic and really kind of cool. Um, very artistic. This is not signed as I would have expected. And you would have to undo this and maybe uh, retie it if you wanted this smaller or shorter. Um, it definitely looks like a 1970s ceramic like art piece, but it's not signed. Um, I'm going to say uh, 15 on that one. It's cool. Um, okay, so this is a wild piece. 
um, and I'll measure this one. I'm not measuring some of the ones that are longer. If you need a measurement, you can message me, but you know, I'm sorry. Um, this is kind of cool. I gotta get this maybe back on the camera. There we go. Um, so this has this giant pendant. It's triple strand and it's got these matching, almost like abalone, I guess, beads to the pendant. And then we've got these beads here and then this silver snake chain. And that's your triple strand. It's very like 1990s silver tone. It's got an extender. It's very, very much a statement piece. Um, the measurement on this is um, anywhere between 18 to 22 inches. Very, very cool, cool, cool necklace. Um, oh, that's backwards. So kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to say uh, $12 on that one. Kind of, kind of an interesting piece. Um, okay, so this necklace, I got this one, and I really feel like this is peaking glass. It's a shorter necklace. Um, it's this beautiful green color. It looks almost like jade. It is glass. You can almost see like the, the rings in here. Um, Peking glass can be various colors. I've seen it being various uh, looks to it, but every time I see it in the green, you really see those layers of color. Um, this even has little bubbles. Um, but normally with Peking glass, I do see it knotted. This is not knotted. This is very, very, very old though, very old necklace. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, these are all handmade beads and very old beads. Um, I don't know, but it definitely reminds me of Peking glass. So it's gorgeous. So that's definitely going in to the vintage life. Um, this is another cool necklace. Now these are plastic beads. This is old. This is an older piece. These are a plastic bead that's almost like, looks like it's almost like a bezel, but it just has a cage around it. Very long. It's just a cool necklace. And I love the iridized yellow on the one bead. Um, this is about 50 inches long. So I think that's cool and that's gonna go into a live. Um, let's see here. Um, this is another piece that I thought was really neat. Um, it's almost like a polymer clay. It's really a soft looking bead. I'm not really sure what it is. It's a plastic, but it's really soft. And um, it's a spring ring clasp, so I'm feeling like this is older, um, maybe 80s. I'm not really sure. I love the collar aspect of it. And, um, but this is really pretty. I feel like this is really, really pretty. And um, the length of it is, 16 inches, and then it has a um, two inch extender, so 16 to 18 inches, but it it's a true collar style necklace. It's, I mean, it's definitely a choker. I just, oh God, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, here's another one. Oh, and oh, sorry. And this one is actually gonna go into the, vintage life. This is another one, uh, more modern, of course. These are glass beads. Um, kind of an interesting piece. Definitely, definitely more modern. Kind of a cool, got the magnets sticking to it. Um, 
definitely more modern. It's a cool piece. Great spring colors, though. Um, it is 16 inches, can go all the way to 18 inches, about 16 to 18 inches. And I'm going to say $10 for that one. Um, okay, this is wild. Definitely homemade. This is a safety pin squash blossom bra uh, necklace. All done with these turquoise seed beads and turquoise larger beads and safety pins. And it's a squash blossom necklace. Um, I don't really know what to do with this one. Um, I don't know if there's a market for this or not. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say twenty five dollars on it. There's a lot of work that went into this, that's for sure. I'm gonna say twenty five because um, it's cool. It's really cool, and like I said, a lot of work went into it. And twenty five, and we'll see. We'll see if any of you guys like it. I like it. I think it's cool. So twenty five on that one. Here is a really pretty long wooden bead necklace in this gorgeous like teal peacock blue color. It's a graduated wooden bead necklace. It's super pretty. It's chunky. It's neat. It's fun. And it's 22 inches long. How fun is that? And what a cool color, right? I mean, that's a good summer color. It can be very versatile. Um, that's great. And we'll say $8 on that. Um, here is another great necklace. This is stone. And we've got a cool like jasper, little round jasper there with some matching stones and then turquoise in there. And then we've got this really nice clasp that I can never do on my own. So I'm not gonna even try it, but it is a nice long length. Um, but it's a great necklace. This is a good necklace. Another good one for summer or fall. Um, and it's 18 inches long down to here and then you know of course there's a little extra for this but um 18 inches long in the necklace itself um oh there's some little pearls on there too oh neat um but it's a great necklace and i mean this would be great with some linen or denim or something like that it's just it's a cool little necklace um and we're gonna do this at probably like the ten dollar and under start uh, bid uh, same with this one. This is a cool, it's a carnelian cross with a hematite necklace, barrel clasp. That's a beautiful piece. Um, hematite and carnelian are just great together. Beautiful cross. And this one is uh, 16 inches. That's really pretty. And we'll do that one at a live. Here's another stone. Really pretty with the wood beads. It just goes really well together. And a great little hook clasp. And it's not marked. I don't think it's sterling or anything like that, but it's it's a great piece. And these little wood things can come right down. There we go. Isn't that great? It's a great little centerpiece. And this one is also 16 inches. And... Um, I'm going to say, um, we'll do this one for, uh, we'll do this one for $8. I'll we'll run that one. This is kind of a cool necklace. It's really long. Um, it is a whopping, I mean, they're so long that there's no class, and it's cool and chunky. It's um, 34 inches long for being such a chunky necklace. It's cool ivory color. Um, could use a little cleaning. But uh, great gold beads to it. 
um, big, huge, chunky plastic uh, beads. I just, I like this. I like chunky necklaces though, and long ones. And this is a cool 34 inches. Um, but this is fun. This would be a fun layering necklace. No clasp, no marks. And uh, we'll say for this one, we're gonna say $12. Here's another cool necklace. This one is ceramic and uh, great little beads. We've got some like rust color, almost like a drip glaze or something. I'm not positive, I'm not a ceramic person, but it reminds me of like a drip glaze that I've sold some pottery that has similar um, look to that. And then the black, it's really pretty. Little toggle clasp on that. And um, it's about 19 inches on this one. 19, really pretty. Uh, this one I might save. It's got a cool little look to it. So I'm gonna save that one. Um, and this is a, let's get this one. A, buttoned up here but this is a cool it is like a plastic I guess speckled paint oh there's a little chip on that uh, I think we're gonna put that one in craft it's cool though all right so those are the necklaces um and then I'm gonna take the tray here that I'm going to put into the live sort these through and those are gonna go into whoops a future live, um, either this week or next week or something. Now, I went to the flea market this week, and I, or actually today, and I found some absolutely amazing pieces. And I think you guys are going to absolutely flip over some of these. Um, I know I did. Um, and we're gonna go over some of these. Um, so this part is going to be all um, all going into the Vintage Live. Some of these pieces may go into the Wednesday Live where it's $10 and under starts, um, although probably not too many of these. Um, the, the, I will do pre-sale on these for channel members. Now, if you are not a channel member, please feel free to check that out. Channel memberships can start at $2.99 a month or can go up further um, if you want discounts on things that you purchase. So um, some channel members get up to 15% off on all of their purchases. That can be for pre-sales, that can be for all of their um, invoices on lives or anything. Anything that you purchase from me as a channel member, you get discounts. So that is something to consider. But if you are interested in any of these pieces um, for pre-sale, feel free to check out channel memberships. There is a link in the description. So definitely it is something to consider. Um, there's no, you know, term or contract or anything like that to being a ch channel member. You can go month to month. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Um, so it is something to consider. And, you know, of course, you can always subscribe to my channel, get the notifications, and um, you can always look for these items on a live sale coming up as well. So um, whatever is left over that the channel members don't pick up, those will also go into the live sale. So trust me, they don't buy everything. So um, I think I've only got, what, like 20 channel members right now. So um, they do buy a lot, <laughs> but they don't buy everything. So you're, you guys are good. So um, this is the first piece that I picked up. And this is a faux amber. And I love the length of it. I love the look of it. Um, and it does look like amber. Um, that's what I really liked about it. It's got like the kind of almost like the swirl to it. It's got these bubbles in there, which I thought was really cool. And it's got the, the old um, uh, spring ring clasp. So I just thought this was a really cool graduated bead necklace um, in a beautiful amber color. And um, I just really wanted to pick it up. I thought it was cool. Um, 
and it's 28 inches long and I just thought it was very pretty, very vintage looking, very almost like 1960s, maybe early 70s looking and I, I couldn't resist, I could not resist that one. Um, another bracelet I grabbed was this one. This cabochon, I almost wonder if it was replaced. I am not sure. Um, it might have been. It may not have been. I'm not, I'm not positive. Um, but it is so cool. It's copper and it is a, um, it's a, uh, ooh, got some, got some copper, uh, coming off here. Some of the, I mean, it tells you how old it is. It's got some, uh, oh, what do you call that? Like the, um, it's not vertigree, but it's got some stuff chipping off there. It doesn't look like there's any issues with the, with the hinge, but it's, um, it does have some, uh, I guess some like, uh, erosion or something coming off of that hinge, which, uh, I will continue to look at, but it is such a cool copper bracelet. Let me try to put that on. Um, and it locks right into place. It's super cool. It's got these big, huge blue cobalt blue stones. I, like I said, I'm not sure if somebody replaced that or not. Um, if so, I might see if it doesn't sell, I might see if I can find a big cabochon to replace that, but it's super cool. And I love the AB stones and like that go around the center. It's just a neat bracelet. I thought, um, and then I found this beautiful brooch. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's not marked, um, but it is all riveted. It's prong set. It is really, oh, you know what? It is riveted. It is not prong set, but it is still very, it's a very beautiful brooch, and it has all black diamond and clear stones. It's interesting that it's not prong set, but it's still beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Um, check out this bracelet. There is not, <laughs> weirdly, there is not a mark on this. Um, there is no maker's mark that I could find anywhere on this bracelet. Now, I did not Google image anything, so, you know, I think maybe after I'm done with this, I'm gonna Google image some of these because there's a lot of unmarked pieces, but look at that with the AB stones and that filigree. It's so, so gorgeous. And uh, this bracelet, measures um, six and a half inches. So it's six and a half flat. Isn't that pretty? So pretty, gorgeous. Um, and then look at this. So beautiful carved mother of pearl cameo, pretty much it's like a warrior and maybe a woman. And it's in that, this beautiful frame. Now, I did not check to see if there was any marks on this yet. So let's take a quick gander. It does look like it could be gold, but I don't know. Hmm. It also looks like it could be plated, but hard to tell. Um, it's so old, right? So right there, it looks like a, a number. Uh, what, what would that be? Is that a number? I, I, X, so I, I, 
x would be a number 8. It looks like it's gold plated because it does look as if there's some wear there. So maybe gold plated, hard to tell. It's gorgeous. I will definitely have to research that one a little bit more. Okay, so this bracelet I need to fix. There's um, one, two, three, four, so I think there's four stones missing on this bracelet. I tested this bracelet, it is Bakelite. Um, so this is a cool little Bakelite bangle um, that I need to repair the stones on. It measures at about seven and three quarters. Um, so just a cool bangle. So I thought I was excited to find that. And then I found this. So I was thinking this could be Bakelite. Um, and it's interesting. It's got some bubbles from the pour when it was created. Um, but I tested it for Bakelite and it did not. But then when I ran it under hot water, it did have a smell. And so I think it could be celluloid. Um so um, I haven't run into a bracelet quite like this, the celluloid. Um, if anybody else has, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'd be curious. All right, next. Oldie but goodie. I can't resist when I get them or see them. I pick them up. Um, but I swear I've had a lot of these lately. <laughs> Um, okay, so this, look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is in pot metal. Um, I did have to, I already did, but I had to replace a couple stones. It was missing a few stones, just the little clear round ones. And then it was missing one eye, but then the other eye, when I replaced it, didn't look right. So I just popped the other stone out and replaced both eyes. Um, but it was missing some of these little tiny stones. Now, all of these other stones, this stone looks like it's missing, but it's not. Same with this one. It's not missing, but the rest of them are all fine. Um, but yeah, it was just some of these little stones around the edge. Isn't that cool? It's amazing. This piece is literally amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, another piece, let's see. Um, and then check out these buckles. So these are buckles. Uh, most likely shoe buckles and I fell in love with them and had to get them because this is just what I do. I am totally infatuated with this kind of shoe buckle and you know I mean you could still wear them on shoes on like use it for a buckle on shoes. Some people will put them as a buckle on a dress on, um, you know, I, there's so much, so much you can do with these anymore. Um, you know, I, I, I use them, use them in your hair, run, uh, a headband through it. There's, there's just a lot. There's a lot you can do. Um, all right. So I found these necklaces these crystal bezel necklaces and they are these beautiful crystal bezel necklaces so this one is black and clear and they have no marks on them well one of them did but this one 
I don't think this one did. So this one is, um, and they're all the same. So same link, same everything. So, um, so this one is black and clear and they are, each one of them is uh, do, 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 34 inches. So beautiful black and clear one. So I know some of you will probably jump on this one. I have never seen one like this before. Look at this. Clear and AB. Check that out. Clear and AB. I've never seen clear and AB before. I absolutely love it. Also, same linkage to it. So, same maker. Okay, so I've got the clear and AB, black and um, AB, or black and clear. And then this is pink. Beautiful pink crystal and clear. And this one did have a tag. And the tag on this could be, you know, because they don't have a, um, they do not have a class. So the tag on this, where'd it go? It's here somewhere. Okay, here it is. Here we go. It's Monet. Right? That's what it says, Monet, right? Much, it's probably not. Oh, it does have a clasp. Monet. Is that the same clasp? So, do these have a clasp then? Am I just missing it? I swore they did not. thought these were all Monet, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, these other two don't have clasps. I don't know. I think they're all Monet. They all look to be, oh, well, maybe they aren't the same. The bezel does look different. So I've got, well, two might be mystery and then this other, but the, cla but the linkage looks the same. I don't know. So the pink one is definitely Monet. The other two are black and white AB and um, clear. I don't know, but they're all just so gorgeous. I'm, I love bezel necklaces and I will continue to pick them up. So I have those bezel necklaces. And let's just measure the clear, or the pink and clear, just in case it's a different length. I don't think it was though. No, it's also 34 inches. So who knows, who knows? Um, okay, this is the Juliana. It is a hematite Juliana necklace. Look at this. I am obsessed with it. It is just, look at those navettes. And then they just go up like that. It is literally just so stunning. I, I can't even, I can't even. So it would go like that. I mean, and then of course, you know, the necklace is you know, like that, but it's got a small little clasp that goes onto the side and there's your, it's just, whoops, it is just so amazing. It is just so, so, so amazing. I kind of want to make this look all special here. Look at that. It looks so pretty. Um, and then, okay, so next one. Can you believe this is what I got just today at the flea market? Just today. Look at this. That is all opaline glass. And then kind of like a repoussé setting. And I do not see any 
marks on this. I don't think I see any marks on this. I need to do more research, but German, Czech, something. This is so huge <laughs> and gorgeous and amazing and crazy. And I just can't even, I can't even. Um, then I got a couple of cute little dogs. Here's a dog, little poodle. They're all poodles that I got. Um, and the stone is actually some kind of quartz. It could be an amethyst, but some kind of quartz. It doesn't say that this is sterling or anything. It doesn't look like sterling, but th that is a real stone. Um, and then check out that little poodle. Isn't he cute? So cute. So if you have a black standard poodle, let me know. Send somebody my way and we'll hook you up. Okay, check out this necklace. Now, I have not researched very far on this one, but this is another necklace. Um, I don't think it's a Juliana, because, well, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. But look at that, look at this necklace. This is so stunning. Um, that is the back of it. There's no marks on it whatsoever. Um, there's a little bit of metal wear to it where it's kind of fading to the silver from the gold. But, you know, honestly, it kind of looks cool. I don't know. Um, and you don't really notice it too bad. Um, but it's, so you've got this absolutely huge, huge centerpiece. And it's a long necklace. So then these come up and then they've got these little open work and then comes up, comes up, comes up. And then this will clasp. And there you go. And just, and so let me get a measurement on this. It is, um, it's about uh, 17 inch, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's about 17 inches in total um this is just i mean honestly these are all glass this is so stunning it's so amazing i'm just like i'm blown away i'm blown away by that one um and then check out that huh that is like literally a leaf that leaf is like the size of my hand all the rhinestones are present it's just Great. It's done in pop metal too. So it's got some age. It's definitely got some age. It's pretty cool. Um, look at this. That is a, a brooch to end all brooches. Um, I don't know about the maker on this one. It doesn't have a pin stop. Um, not Juliana. Not marked. I don't know beautiful flower on the inside and those crystals look like you can stare down into them forever it's it's so beautiful it's literally so beautiful um look at this pink flower this is ceramic and it says uh cara china staffordshire made in england and uh it's in great condition is that a chip right there Maybe a tiny one. I don't know. I can't tell. It's beautiful. This little cool rhinestone brooch. I don't know if it's supposed to be a ribbon, a comet, a flower. And is it marked? Yeah, it's marked. And... Can't read it. Bet you it's coral. Feels like a coral piece. But I'll have to maybe try to work on seeing that a little bit later. 
This one is gorgeous. This is Coro. Beautiful enamel flower with the rhinestone centers of the flowers. This enamel is in perfect condition, like perfect. And uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And it says Coro right there. I, I don't think anybody ever used this. It's just so incredibly stunning. Um, this is a brooch or a pendant. Very old. It is marked 800. Whew. 800 right there. And this is a genuine opal. You can see the flash there. Genuine opal. I love this piece. Um, beautiful filigree. Absolutely gorgeous. Real opal. And see that? Look at that flash. It's a large opal, too. I mean, it's like the size of my thumbnail, almost. I mean, it's so pretty. Um, I have this set. Now, I had something a while back that was very similar to this that, and it might even be the same as this, but it, um, it didn't have all the pearls and was missing some stones. I had gotten in a, in a lot. Um, I don't know what the maker is on this. Hmm, I can't see it. Can anybody see this? Not sure. Let me see. Not positive. I... The brooch isn't marked. F, F something. F U I or is it E M oh E M J E M J which is not what mine were marked, but these definitely say E M J. Interesting. That's not what my other ones were marked. The other one was marked something, not that. I don't remember. Um, okay, this, look at this. This is so gorgeous. This definitely, I want to say is old, but then based on the pin back, I don't know. Um, it's brass. It's the stone. I don't know. Stone just reads as glass. I don't know. It's so pretty. So pretty. Um, then look at this. So I don't know if this is glass or not. Let's test it really quick. It is not. It is testing as some kind of spinel or topaz. Um, it's not even testing as an amethyst, but it's got like these different colors in there almost. So it could definitely be some kind of topaz. Like, I don't know. And when I got it, Ace had told me, oh, you know, it's cracked. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't think that's a, well, maybe it is a crack. I don't know. I can kind of feel something in the surface, but is that a, a crack crack? I don't know. It's, it's so pretty, even with that crack or whatever that might be. I just think that's so pretty. Um, I don't see 
I mean, it's just as wire wrapped, basically. I don't see a mark on the setting, but I'm going to assume it's some kind of silver, maybe probably 925. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? What's your opinion on this? I mean, it's like got this yellowish purple thing going on. Um, let's see. Do I have something? It's cool. I think it's cool. I really like it. Um, I think this pearl necklace. These are genuine pearls. Um, in this like grayish purpley color. This is a marked clasp. Now the clasp is marked P. Here we go. P N, I think seven zero. P something. P M P N seven zero. Now I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what that means? Um. And I. I don't see 925, I don't think, on the clasp anywhere, but it does have a safety chain. I don't know. It's a mystery. But oh, look at these pearls. Such a pretty like grayish purpley color with the iridescence. I just I love anything with iridescence. Okay, and then look at this. This is an absolutely stunning Ben Amun brooch. It's a bee or some kind of moth or I'm not positive what this is, but it's a Ben Amun brooch. It's signed Ben Amun. Um, not positive of the year or anything like that, but this is just an absolutely gorgeous Ben Amun piece. I love it, love, love it, love it, love it, love it. And then finally, the last piece is this one. Now, this piece here, I'm, I need to look this up to see what the value is, but it's a har brooch. H-A-R, Har. Um, and Har makes a lot of brooches that are worth a lot of money. Um, and, you know, you might be familiar with some of their, like their Asian figures or their dragon brooch, or they have a lot of different really cool pieces that are worth a lot of money, but I'm not sure about those. So I'd be really curious. Um, so I'm super excited about this this lot it's just literally so so absolutely absolutely stunning I like I literally cannot believe some of these pieces that I got I really can't the Juliana the you know all of these really I just I cannot believe the pieces that I got these are literally amazing so let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear about it. I'd love to hear your um, your favorite pieces. And you know, don't forget. Let um, you know if you like my content. If you like what I bring to you, 
feel free to uh, subscribe. I would love it if you would subscribe. It's always free to subscribe. So um, make sure that you do that. And uh, please share my, share my videos if you, you know, if you like what you see. And uh, I hope to see you on one of the next lives. Don't forget, I do a $10 and under start live on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Or I do an all vintage live, which you'll see a lot of these pieces in that kind of live on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And I hope to see you there or I hope to see you on one of my next videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name's Leslie. I'm with Black Dog Vintage and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.